Yes, local merchant, you have been slain by a wonderful, wonderful man who has now, oh no, has now made the population of McCann very upset indeed. Hello reformers and welcome back to Perizno 0.9. Now we are embroiled in a battle already. I don't know whether you noticed, but on the battle map itself, there are not that many enemies and there's actually a very good reason for me doing this this is a party full of prisoners oh yes rescued prisoners that we have potential to well get in under you know get into our army which is gonna be really nice as they do have a couple of Maccabean I think knights Maccabean knights of some kind I don't know whether I have enough persuasion to get them at the moment, which is kind of a shame, but uh, that's what I've been working on. Obviously, I've been trying to get Machavia, you know, Machavia's relation up and everything, and maybe I can do a little bit of damage here, or maybe I can just miss, because for some reason, it feels like Perizno's crosshair is a little bit weird. Yeah, bear in mind that these guys are actually Perizno priests, by the way, so they are extremely difficult to kill, and, uh, well... We're just going to try our best. Oh, I actually did get a kill. Fantastic. I'm actually kind of surprised. I actually did hit another one as well. Very nice. All right. So not too bad. And uh, yes, as I say, we are going to be on the way to try and earn enough money to be able to get that oil press. We need 16,000. I have 10,000 right now still. And uh, wow, that's really it. That is kind of sad, isn't it? Oh, well, never mind. I guess numbers. Numbers is uh, a pretty decent idea, and we do have a huge amount of prisoners here. Of course, we do have Count Rylorius right here. Unfortunately, he has not been ransomed just yet, which is kind of a shame. However, it looks like we have gotten some relatively good helmet and gloves. Well, now we just need a good weapon, and we'll be all set, I guess. Alright, so luckily enough, I was able to run into a ransom broker pretty quickly here, and I can sell all the prisoners for 1800 Actually, not even that bad. I did sell the remaining little bit of our loot, so we made about 2000 right now, and that is going to help us a little bit along the way to getting our first enterprise. I'm going to actually just check the uh, top of the tavern here, because you never know, there might be a companion. No, there isn't. Alright, so we have entered another battle where the odds are quite considerable and very much in our favor. But, the main problem is we are up against Volhir Barbarians and I think they do have some pretty harsh high tier units as well. So we could end up losing 20 plus, 25 plus units just because they are so incredibly, well... Let's face it, our units are not exactly great, are they? Anyway, I'm going to try and get a little bit of experience here myself. Bear in mind that these guys are going to be pretty good at throwing their weapons and everything. And you can see exactly where the crossbow bolt is going. It's, it's, it's kind of weird. Look at that. It's going over to the right easily. Easily going over to the right right there. So I think I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of, uh, well, <laughs> a little bit of uh, changing in terms of my aim for the moment. Because I'm not a not a big fan of missing, obviously, because I'd very much like to get some uh, much-needed experience. So that would be kind of nice. And it seems like we are now hitting a little bit better now that I've made that small adaptation to how we shoot. But obviously, at the moment, this crossbow is not exactly great. I am going to aim, well, eventually, to uh, be able to kill people at least in one shot or two, or the very least two, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get a couple of rescued prisoners. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I did actually speak to a lord in between my off-screen time here. And I spoke to him and he said, Hey, do you mind if you uh, train up a couple of troops for me? And I was like, well, no, sir, I don't mind that. But I kind of do, actually. And uh, so we're going to try and get another five of these Maccabean swordsmen. We need another five of these. You thought this episode was just going to be me stomping over some Volhir barbarians? No, no, it's not exactly that right now, as you can see. We have, uh, it looks like there's 343 snow crawlers, but that's actually not the case. We have entered battle alongside one of the Reich vassals. And, uh, well, as you can see, he has about 100, uh, about 120 and 130 actually and we have well obviously 100 but very low tier units and we're up against a Nisanian army our renowned value for this battle is 64 you can actually see that a couple of oh look at that 
They actually have some wyverns. That's really, really cool to see. That is very cool to see, in fact. And I am going to be very interested to see how we do here. If I can succeed in surviving and maybe getting a couple of kills along the way, I think we could very much so <laughs> definitely do with that 64 run out. That is going to be pretty crazy if it actually works. But there are many, many Volhia Berserkers on the enemy side, as you can no doubt tell here. And it seems like this vassal that we have paired ourselves up with has decided to just charge straight on in. And uh, I suppose if you have extremely good, well, extremely good, uh, well, shall we say, cavalry units, I, I guess, uh, who can blame him, right? But uh, yes, I, I have to be a bit careful here because I don't really want to get one of these Volhia barbarians to uh, come up here because I don't have any weapon capable of defeating. Actually, I did buy a weapon. Yes, I did actually buy a weapon, but unfortunately I have not equipped it just yet. Wow, there are a huge amount of Volhia Berserkers. I have... Wow, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to need to get out of here pretty soon, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to run away because this does not look to be working very well. <laughs> Alright, okay, yeah, let's get out of there. Let's get out of there. That was harsh. Look at that, 119 against 308. So we literally killed 12 of them or something like that. Well, that was a nice headshot, wasn't it? And, uh, well, hopefully I'm not going to die here either. Hopefully I'm going to be able to... Ah, no. Using my dagger against him? No, that's probably not going to work out too well. Unfortunately, it appeared as though we were going to actually be perfectly fine in this particular fight. But... Uh, upon being wounded, of course, by the Nisanian clan of Vikings, I think that was the uh, that was the big party that we were fighting with the huge amount of Volhia Berserkers. They actually had 110 Berserkers in their army, among other things. Upon fighting that and retreating, we obviously did take a huge amount of damage from that, and uh, these guys uh, decided to attack us. And uh, unfortunately, they had a Tolranian headhunter in their army, which made a huge difference to our allies being a little bit too distracted. Alright, so we have ourselves a little fight here, and uh, just bear in mind that most of my troops are not exactly healthy right now, and uh, we don't have that many, as you can see right here. I, we're actually helping out a Maccabean vassal who is just about to lose. They are just about to lose, and if we are able to succeed in, uh, well, giving them a victory here, then we're going to gain a huge amount of relation, and uh, that is hopefully going to also then give us a little bit more in the way of persuasion options and everything in terms of rescuing prisoners from Machavir and so on and so forth. Now, hopefully, my units, which are, well, gladiators for the most part, will be able to do a good job here. I do have, by the way, every single swordsman that I need now. And uh, it took me a little bit of time, but uh, uh, thankfully... It is now a little bit better. So let's see, let's see what we're able to do here. I'm actually just going to tell everyone to charge in. We technically have overwhelming numbers, but I don't know whether that's really going to make a difference, really. I mean, it might just make a difference that we are going to die instantly. Hmm, yes, that happens. Oh, that's really great. Oh, that doesn't grind my gears at all. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully... It is going to end up being a victory here. If not, then, well, I don't exactly know what to do because they do have... Oh, never, never mind, never mind. I was going to say they have King's Guards and uh, they also have Valor Kingsmen as well. I don't know whether they're really good or not, but uh, it seems like they're pretty effective. Let's see what's happening right now. We have 44 against the enemy's 7. Personally, I feel like we have this in the bag, but you never know. I find it kind of amusing, though, that we did get eliminated just out of the blue. Like, I have no idea why the Tolranian archer was like, yes, we must target that random person that's not very good at using his crossbow. Yes, that, that happens to me more often than I would like, obviously. Anyway, there you go. Ten Renown, not too bad, actually, for a battle that we are technically outnumbering the enemy on. I did lose a whole bunch. Did I lose some swords? Oh, dear. I lost one swordsman. I need to build up another one then, by the looks of things. Otherwise, we are hopefully, possibly, going to get 
the opportunity to take another enemy vassal prisoner, which is hopefully going to result in some good ransom money. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's get him. Let's get him. And the other one escaped, unfortunately. But this is exactly also the reason why I wanted to do this. You can see here, swords masters, marksmen, north guards, and knights of steel. Oh yeah, they are they are pretty cool. Oh, there we go. And we also have some Maccabean swordsmen. So that is fantastic. Let me just take all of the prisoners. And there are fantastic prisoners as well, which I will be able to sell for a great amount of money. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I'm just going to continue leveling up our crossbowmen right here. Continue leveling our gladiators. I feel like the slave units are really unfortunately expendable. I really don't like them to be expendable personally because I like them to stick around and try and help us out as much as possible. Alright, so we have now arrived in a nearby tavern and hopefully there is a ransom broker. Yes, there is. Oh yeah, I can imagine that we're probably going to be getting our enterprise in just a second. Actually, no. Actually, no. Wow. Okay, I'm actually very surprised by this. Only 2,300 for nine prisoners, even though we had Divine Ethelings. Divine Ethelings usually sell for a lot of cash. So the other prisoners that we had must have not been worth that much, which is very disappointing to me, but oh well, never mind. I guess we can just sell a couple of pieces of loot. And we can do that. There we go. All right. So that's not too bad, I suppose. And uh, I guess we're just going to continue onward. It's uh, it's a bit weird that they're not asking us for ransoms. All right, so I have, against my better judgment, taken an assassination mission. And uh, this is probably not going to work out too well because I have not really rested that much. Because we are still at McCann. And I was just about to go off and try and find the lord that gave us the training up the troops quest. And uh, I went into the castle and asked these guys for some tasks. And he gave us the assassination mission, of course. You spot your victim and follow him, observing as he turns a corner into a dark alley. This will surely be your best opportunity to attack him. Alright, so I am gonna just murder him in cold blood with my axe. Yes, local merchant, you have been slain by a wonderful, wonderful man who has now... Oh no! Has now made the population of McCann very upset indeed. That is not good. Okay, I'm going to have to go into the tavern and buy people some drinks, I guess, at some point. But uh, yes, there you go. We did get 600 orums and we advanced to level 7. And we have obviously increased our relation with this guy. I don't know how good that really is in comparison to being able to build an enterprise immediately. Because now I'm going to have to build up the enterprise relation. Oh, oh no. Okay, well, let's let's ask this guy and see whether he has anything for us. Oh, yeah, no, I disagree, sir. As I slap him with my gauntlet. Yes, no duel today, though, thank you. All right, so we're actually getting a ransom offer right now for 3,800. I'm actually pretty happy with that, so I will be accepting it. Ah, a little bit of a problem here. I had just taken a task from Agathor Crex to rescue his wife, Queen Trisner, who was in the garrison in Ria Castle, I believe. And I was on my way there, and I was just resting for a little bit, because obviously I was still a little bit injured from the battles of the day. And, uh, well, it appears as though Maccavia has now made peace with Tolrania, which is kind of unfortunate. On the bright side, however, I can now become a vassal of Maccavia. And I think that is exactly what I'm going to do, because obviously the natural progression of things, at least for me at the moment in uh, Warband, is obviously, you know, become a mercenary, maybe become a vassal, and then maybe, you know, become your own, your own liege yourself. But uh, for me right now, I think this is going to make sense because we are going to get our very own village. Hopefully it's a village that will not absolutely suck in, in many ways. Anyway, uh, heirs, heirs has been awarded to us. Right, I don't know where that is. Alright, so after becoming vassal, I decided, hey, you know what? It's probably going to be a good idea for us to participate in a couple of campaigns to try and get some much-needed renown, a little bit of extra cash and loot and so on and so forth, and uh, hopefully to also increase our relation with the varying lords in Maccavia. Now, you can see here, there's actually a lot of them. There's a huge amount of lords in Maccavia. I'm running along with all of them, including Agathor Crex himself. 
And it looks like we are going to try and wage war against the Valahir clan. So let's see what happens here. Oh, it seems like Alnar Castle is going to be our first attempt here. I don't know how this is going to go, but uh, I can imagine that it might go pretty badly if uh, the previous attempts have anything to go by, because I think they've attempted to take this before, and it doesn't seem like they were able to really do much. So, while waiting for the various lords of Makavir to sort of wear down the garrison a little bit, just before I went inside, because I don't want to go in there when there's huge amounts of high-tier units, because I'm, I'm just going to die, you know? I'm just going to die very quickly. But... We have this. A local minstrel has composed a small song about your deeds. I shall like to reward him with 300 orums. There we go. 15 renown. That was such an easy way of gaining renown. Pretty amazing. Anyway, you can see here. Alnar Castle. It has 283 remaining. And uh, our people are doing pretty well so far as well. I'm going to wait until about, about 200, I think. And then we're going to go inside and we'll see what we can do. There we go. All right. Bear in mind, I do not have a shield. So, uh, yeah. Me coming in here without a shield, probably inadvisable, probably not advisable at all. And, uh, well, hopefully we will be able to survive with the amount of North Guards and various other things that are here. Am I the one commanding these people? Am I literally the one commanding these people? This is probably not the best idea, let's face it. But, uh, oh well, okay. Uh... I think I am, actually. This is pretty crazy. We have 185 allies on the battlefield right now, 111 enemies. We have a battle advantage of 8, which is pretty crazy. And uh, I guess the best thing that I can do right now is to move our crossbowmen up to the top of this hill here, if they will listen to me. It seems like they are listening to me, actually. Pretty amazing. All right. I don't exactly know what to do, to be honest, because I've not been in command of such a large army in a very, very long time. And I'm unsure whether we should just charge straight in, or whether we should do something a little bit different. Oh no, don't don't get me killed now. Come on now. Don't get me killed. Is that guy trying to shoot me? No, it seems like that guy wasn't even trying to shoot me to begin with. Okay, well, maybe I can try and kill him. Ah, there we go. Oh, I actually thought that we killed him, but nope, nope. It was just one of our Mauler friends. Oh well, never mind. Okay, maybe I can try and shoot something then. No, no, just hit his shield. Oh, well, I guess I'll just let our infantry just charge straight on in here and get our crossbowmen to come a little bit closer. Just a little bit. Ah, hello there. Or, okay. Yes. Ah, uh, my inaccuracy is very frustrating at the moment, but it's gonna it's gonna get better, you know? When we get a better crossbow and everything, it's gonna make a huge difference. And, uh, yeah, from what I remember, actually, the Valahir clan is not very good when it comes to ranged combat, but it seems like right now they seem kind of, kind of deadly from range. Okay, there we go. Yes, we took out two, two archers. Oh, amazing. Amazing feats of strength right there. Strength and cunning. And uh, I actually did, did another headshot. Very nice. Okay, well, there's a whole bunch. Do you see those archers right up there? There's a huge amount of them. Okay, we're going to have to get our archers a little bit closer here so that they can actually do something about those. Even if I die right now, at least I have told our archers to stay in a pretty good place. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really mind about that. Anyway, yeah, going to need to get some better armor. That is a surefire way to, you know, get killed if you don't have good armor. All right, so how are we doing so far? Not even that bad. Not even that bad. It may look bad because of the amount of red text that we're currently seeing here. It may look bad, but it actually is going pretty well in comparison to what you would otherwise think. Because we've lost about, what, 100 units so far? About 110 units? And the enemy's lost about, well, 60. But do bear in mind that we outnumber them pretty heavily and our reinforcements are going to be much better than theirs, because the, the more that we eliminate their Huskarls and their Thanes and all of their high-tier units, the more that we are going to have an advantage. So I'm pretty happy with this. And uh, the main... <laughs> yes, the main issue are these guys. These are the main problem. They are just raining down every kind of death and destruction that they can muster, and uh, it's making things very difficult for us. And uh, I'm actually... Yes... Archers, uh, would, you, would you mind not charging in there? Could you... Uh, yeah, let me just click here. There we go. 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I have command of all of the archers. Yeah, I do have command of all of the archers still. Okay, that's great. Because I don't really want them charging in randomly. I'd very much appreciate it if they could just allow the infantry to go in there. Oh no, it seems like they're now clogging the ladder up. Uh, you know what? Okay. I'm just going to tell them to charge in again because it seems like they are stopping all the infantry. Oh my. Okay, well thankfully... Everything seems to be going much better now. Why is everything going much better? Maybe because we've be we've eliminated a couple of these archers, as you can see. Their corpses are littering the balcony. And hopefully there will be more and more and more to litter it still. And, uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to get onto the battlements here. It seems like they were receiving reinforcements, and those reinforcements were taking a bit of time to get there. So I guess, uh, I guess we'll have to see what happens. Well, things are going quite nicely, actually, because, uh, well, you can see here that we are now on the battlements, but you can also see that there's a whole bunch of reinforcements coming in from the side here. I very much hope that our units will be ready for the opponent, and you can also see that they have completely cleared out the enemy archers with the exception of one person right now. And he's going to get head... Yeah, there we go. There's a nice headshot. He survived that headshot? That's pretty crazy. Okay, come on now. Another headshot is... He's on, you know, aisle one. Come on now. Come on. We, we need another one. While I'm focusing on him. Come on. Let's do this. Give me, the, give me that headshot. I'm very surprised that there's no headshot. And he's actually getting multiple kills right now. Oh, oh, there we go. I actually missed it. Great. Oh, well, never mind. We are still on the battlements. And it seems to me like this is the last remaining stand for the Valahir clan in this siege. And they are all equipped with very large two-handed axes, which is, of course, going to make things kind of easy for our archers, but not so easy for our infantry. But uh, speaking of that, our crossbow actual users are uh, pretty good, actually, at using their pretty fantastic two-handed axes themselves, although that one maybe wasn't so much. There you go, though. Only seven remaining, and that will be a victory for the Maccabeans. I'm actually kind of surprised that they decided to go so hard against the Valahir clan right now. And I guess this is actually a really good idea, because they've just made peace with the Tolranians, and that means that they are only fighting a war on one side. And that obviously makes a huge difference, you know. Having two factions at war against you at once is obviously really bad. But thankfully, we have we now have a foothold in Valahir clan territory, and uh, I'll show you exactly what that is in just a second. Okay, so there you go, ten renown. We did lose one morale because obviously we lost uh, yeah, kind of a few units here, and uh, thankfully we didn't seem to lose too many very valuable ones. We did lose one heavy crossbowman, but that's nothing really to worry about too much. And our allies lost a huge amount, two hundred and seven, but. They only lost 133 to death, which is okay in comparison to our opponents. And there you go, look at this. All of this relation is just fantastic. The relation with Makavir as well is great. And we have also captured Aetheling Guntar from the Valahir clan. And we have a huge amount of captured enemies to take here as well, so we can obviously sell those. And there it is. Alnar Castle is now ours, and bear in mind that the Valahir clan do not have many fiefs, so it might very well be that we will be able to see an elimination pretty soon. Oh, it seems like... Oh, no, never mind. They are just besieging that randomly, because, you know, Prisno sometimes has that has that little bug. Anyway, there's Lord Galad. He's the fellow that I actually did the training for. Yeah, bear in mind that I actually did hand that task in, and uh, if you're if you're also playing alongside me... Do not do those training missions. Don't don't give them, you know, six of whatever unit that they want because it literally just gives, like, four relation with the Lord itself, and that, and that's it. It doesn't give anything else. It doesn't give experience, as not as far as I'm aware, at least, and it doesn't give money either, which is really kind of annoying. But there you go. Ah, oh, ransom broker. Thank you very much. There's two thousand four hundred. Very good. Let's speak to the guild master now because I would like to buy an enterprise, an oil press, two thousand two hundred. I think that's pretty good. What about an ironworks? That's only a thousand. Weaver and dye works. That's almost two thousand. All right, so I guess I will be going with the oil press. It seems like everything is pretty good, to be honest. I mean, everything seems to be giving over a thousand, with the exception of the brewery. 
and the Melon Bakery, of course, but they are very much budget options, so you don't have to worry too much if you are spending a little bit of extra cash. And the Weavery, yeah, seems like the oil press is m far and away the best, so we will be doing that. There we go. All right, fantastic. All right, so that will be it for this episode. We have finally achieved our goal of getting our oil press up and running, and as you can see here, it's already paid out. That's kind of hilarious. Yes, that's kind of amazing. Now we're going to get a huge amount of cash going forward, and hopefully we'll be able to buy another one very soon. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.